Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Zalman Reservator 1 External Water Cooling Kit. Included in this package is the Reservator 1, also 6 feet of half inch silicone tubing, a manual, a fall indicator, two fittings, four clamps, some spare parts, and the CPU water block. I have also the optional GPU water block. Most water cooling kits have a pump, a radiator, and reservoir or tank. Well, this has it all in one. It has aluminum construction. You can see there's a number of these large fins all the way around, and that's to help dissipate heat. The top unscrews here so you can fill it up with 2.5 liters at a maximum of distilled water. And at the very bottom, there is a pump. At the base is a very long 10 foot cable. That cable has an inline on off switch for the pump. And right here is the inlet and outlet. Included with the CPU water block is a user's manual and all the necessary materials needed for installation on the socket 478, 462, 754, and 940. They also include thermal compound. Now the CPU water block itself has these easy fittings and a pure aluminum top, a copper base which is gold plated and you can see this base is very smooth and that's going to allow great contact between it and the CPU. Included in the VGA water block kit are two GPU water blocks. Both of these are generally the same. They are made from aluminum except one is small and one is large and these will fit on just about any NVIDIA or ATI product. They also include eight aluminum RAM sinks, a screwdriver, thermal compound, and the necessary materials for installation. This is a very neat little product. It's the Flow Indicator. This component is connected in line with the circulation tube to check the circulation of the coolant. When the coolant is actively circulating, the cap inside the flow indicator shakes rapidly and this provides easy indication of the circulation status. These two universal fittings allow the tubing to run outside of your case. I've got one here taken apart. Now you can drill holes in the case anywhere if you want to to put these through or preferably put them in one expansion slot at the back of your case. These four clamps are used to terminate the coolant flow in the tubes. Let me just show you how this works. First of all, take the clamp, swing the bar open at the top, take the tube here, slip the clamp over it like so, swing this bar back, then screw it down. This is great for maintaining the system or replacing or adding a water block. Installing the CPU water block is quite simple. Now I will be installing it on a socket 478. Slip in your CPU and apply some thermal compound. Place the CPU water block on top. Next there's this clip and finally two of these hand screws and these go on the inner part of the clip and these go down through the clip at the top into the clip support right here. Screw them all the way down. Depending upon which video card is used will dictate whether the small or large VGA water block is used. In my case I will be using the small one because I have an ATI All-in-Wonder 9600 XT video card that I will be installing it on. But before I get to the installation of the VGA water block, let me show you how to install the RAM sinks. Now, as you can see here, I already have copper RAM sinks installed on the memory 
on the front and the back of the video card. If you do not want to use the included ones which are aluminum then you can do what I've done and go with the copper. You'll get a little bit better heat dissipation with these than with aluminum. But if you install these what you will need to do is first clean off the memory with alcohol. Make sure it's very clean so these RAM sinks will stick. And to stick them on all you need to do is peel off the back and press them firmly on the memory. Now let's get to the installation of the VGA water block. First of all remove the existing cooler then clean it off and apply some thermal compound right on the GPU. Next you'll need to adjust the arms here so it goes down through the holes on the video card like so. On the other side slip on a rubber o-ring and next go ahead and screw on this nipple. Screw it all the way down. Zalman has made installation of both the CPU and VGA water block very simple. Now measure and cut the different lengths of tubing needed to connect all of the different components together. Once everything is finished on the inside proceed to the outside. But before I do that I want to show you how the flow will work in this system. It will come in from the Resurator 1 as cool water through this bottom tube into the CPU water block, exit the CPU water block into the VGA water block, exit from that to the top tube right here, back into the Resurator 1 as warm water where it gets cooled and then comes back in again. And the cycle will continue over and over. And when everything is connected on the outside, you can fill the system with distilled water and turn the pump on. But before you do that, just do a recheck on the tubes. Make sure they're connected securely and correctly to all the different fittings. Now, I just want to go over again how the flow works. It's coming out of the Resurator 1 through this flow indicator into the system as cool water. Then it exits the system as warm water back into the Resurator 1. When you're filling the system, fill it to around 80 to 90 percent full. Remove the cap, then carefully pour the distilled water in. And then recap. Make sure you screw it all the way down. And next, turn the pump on. And as you can hear, once all the air is out of the system, the pump is virtually silent. If you're in the market for an external water cooling system that offers performance, reliability, quality, and silence, you definitely want to check this out. Also, this system is very easy to install. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.